Dear Adamant, I have received your proposal for the usage of my mass broadcasting relay, and I must admit that the whole idea seems completely ludicrous. It's appalling, horrifying, nonsensical. I can't even begin to decipher what you and Lucius intend to make of it. It's just... Just... Completely ridiculous! And I can't believe that you think that working with him is a good idea, in addition to the fact that you have the audacity to suggest that I should help you in this endeavor. It only adds to the obscenity of it all. In short, I fucking love the idea. I'll get the cogitators warmed up and the recap ready for your arrival. I can't wait to see the look on the faces of the inhabitants of the galaxy when we expose to them this complete mind wreck of a train fuck. It's going to be great! Warmest regards, you magnificent bastards. And be seeing you soon. Fabius Bile. P.S. If Lucius caught me barb on live HB, I will knock him the fuck out!
open with. But why though? Isn't this being broadcast live all across the galaxy? Yep. Then yeah, I'm not telling you. Yeah, no need to be stuck up about it. Yeah, no need for that. I'm not being stuck well, up. What's your view of the Tyranids? Mm -hmm. Um, I have no real thoughts on that. Would you be above copulating with one? Know you Are you bastards not taking me seriously? <laughs> I'm so sick of people not respecting me, not taking me seriously. I just... Ugh. Tell me more about that, dear. Sounds like you have a lot of repressed anger about it. Nobody understands me or believes me about who I am, and it's so damn depressing and infuriating. Uh -huh. And nobody takes me seriously either, you know? Yeah. Like, I never get the respect they deserve. I know that feeling. So tell me... What hair product do you use because hot damn girl, I need some of that! Oh, well, it's low. Wait, you don't have hair- Is that so? Yeah. No pity or dreams be creams! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Apparently it's this Slaneshmas thing or some shit. What? It's Slaneshmas? And no one reminded me? Makes sense. What are you watching? It's I don't even know. It it just came on a few minutes ago and it's on it's on all the channels I can find. <laughs> Wait, is that Aramin? You know one of these clowns? That bastard is my first captain! What is he playing at right now? From what I can tell, trying to break everyone's minds of a crazy Holovision show. Considering the general intelligence of everyone in the Imperium, if that is his plan, it's probably working. The fact that I feel strangely entranced by this abomination might be a sign of something going on. It's like that feeling when you see a jet bike crash and there are broken bodies and blood flying everywhere and you just can't look away even though you want to. Crikey. I'm just saying that stars are overrated, you know? It's not like we need them or anything. Yeah, I feel you. So, who's the next guest? Who do I have next? It's Typhus? Were angry grunts. 
I'm guessing that he was busy and Angron picked up for him or something. Are you sure you didn't mix up his contact details with Sly Marbos again? Nope. I'm 100% certain of that. How come? Because Sly Marbo is here right now! Give it up, Sly! <laughs> that I'm gonna do a solo Black Crusade. <laughs> oh. Really? Not going to help Abaddon? Fuck that pussy-ass bitch, you know? I don't need him. He needs me! Well, I mean, I guess it's not like you're short of super soldiers to bring along, right? Oh no, I ain't doing that. Pardon? I did say this was a solo Black Crusade, dog. I'm doing this shit by myself! Okay, time out for a second. The dick you're talking about right now! <laughs> Bitch! I could clone anyone! That... that wasn't what I... In fact, just to prove my point, ladies and motherfuckers, hair for your eyes is adamant 2.0! Hey, you leave me out of this shit! What the hell is What in Zeta's blue balls is that? It's a work in progress. Daddy! No, fuck that! I didn't make you hear it! Don't talk to a son like that, you heartless jerk! Oh my god! Okay, we need to talk about this shit you're doing, Bob. It's getting out of here! What did I say, Lucius? Fuck you! You will not be unfinished! Oh yeah, I remember. I did have it inherit Adamant's psychic powers. You did what? So, does anyone remember why we're still watching this garbage? I remember you daring me to watch it as a test of my faith in the Mad Emperor. Uh, and now we're all just kind of watching it. I do not actually know how to feel about this program. It might be the most chucklesome thing I have watched since this text-to-speech device was installed into my face. It has actually succeeded in pausing my relentless sobbing noises that always happens on this day of all days. Suffice to say, I am absolutely disgusted with myself. What is a, and how does one, watch? In addition, does the host of this show enjoy cyberdogs? Most likely, I suspect. Well, it's certainly amusing to see these heretical fools flounder around like complete imbeciles and get blown up, amongst other things. I am not amused. I only just learned that you could be amused at all, so that does not surprise me. I am slightly infuriated. Hold the fuck up. You can feel two whole emotions now. Who are you? And what have you done to my Rokel? What's the matter, big guy? I know it's awkward and bad, but surely nothing to get angry about. I personally think it's hilarious. No. The enemies of man have hacked every single holo video station in the galaxy and broadcasted this stupid show on every single frequency, compromising centuries of Imperial secrecy about chaos to the mass populations. I'd say that's a pretty good reason to be upset right now. You are correct. But also, no, that is not why I am angry. Then why? Because that man with a high-pitched voice keeps breaking desks. What? He is breaking perfectly formed wooden furniture for no reason other than forcing a cheap slapstick joke. That is something I cannot 
forgive. Then why are you still watching? Because you have snacks, and they are delicious. Tom boys and fat boys, I realize that we've gotten this far into the show! Surprisingly. <laughs> We're nearly to its end, and I haven't even explained what we intended to do with this show. See, half of you guys out there will be celebrating a holiday, while the other half is probably feeling pretty lonely and miserable right now. Aside from the few of you who are as fucked in the head as my friend here and caught on by now. While you loyalists are celebrating the death of a fabulous angel guy, us chaos worshippers have, for the most part, been left without an equivalent event. And so, to leave our own mark here too, I've decided to spread the word of Slanishmas! Basically, we're gonna make you a loyalist fox a deal. You get one day. One day each year that we don't terrorize, murder, and annihilate your minds, souls, and bodies. And in return, we expect the fucking same. Don't get me wrong. We're not expecting kisses and fucking hugs and shit. I am! But instead, why don't we address the grocks in the room? We're all fucking human, and all superhuman, for the most part. And the problem is that things like these still exist. Problems that we, as a species, have to deal with eventually. So let's use this day, each year, to come together as a species and... THE ALIENS! Yeah, pretty much. Let's celebrate what unites us all. Xenophobia. Different. And not what I was expecting. By the way, can we play games now? Alright, companion, put on Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I relate to him on so many levels! This abomination of a show has come too way close. Now I can go back to saying sob repeatedly. Do you think people will actually go along with this crazy idea? No. Wait, didn't Sanguinella end like three months ago? <laughs> <laughs>